this is really a excellent feature that I use with Telegram all the time. It's the scheduling feature. So you can use it to a single person, you can use it to groups, to channels, um, even if you use it with your own saved messages. So if I go to my saved messages section, which is your private kind of group or channel that is just for you where you can put in stuff and modify them and when you're ready you can copy them and send it to people or you could just save it there for yourself um, if you're working in this the feature the scheduling feature has a different purpose and I thought I'd just show you this before I go and show you the actual scheduling and how I use it and how powerful it is so if you look to the bottom here, this on the left is a desktop, on the right is my mobile phone. If you look at the bottom here, you'll see this calendar thing with a red dot. That means that there's something that's scheduled. If I click on that, it's something that's scheduled for 28th of April. I've actually just put this as a reminder that on the 28th of April at 1.45, this message will come into my actual save messages here area it will pong up there and it will say it will give me this message renewal so it's just for myself to remind myself because it's my personal it is actually called reminders okay where you use it in interacting with people or groups or channels it's referred to as schedules it will just be called a schedule and not a reminder okay so if i want to change this it works simply i can right click on it and edit it and the beauty is that if i edit it here um, it doesn't show up that when it is posted in whichever area, it doesn't show up as being edited. When it arrives in, for example, my um, save messages section, it will just arrive as a brand new message. So I can tweak and edit and fiddle with it in the reminder section and it will come up the same year. So if I don't have anything in the reminder section which is equivalent to the schedule section you won't see this little icon so let me just show you if i go here i just want to copy this uh, copy that and then i'm going to delete this okay your reminders i go back now you look here in my saved messages there's nothing over here so to initiate that you've got to put something there you know whether it's just a a dash or words or whatever it is but you don't have to have it there all the time if you have nothing to use it for so i'm going to paste this message that i've deleted there and this is how you get to set the reminder you right click on the send button and you click set a reminder it's then going to come up with this date and in this case i think i set the reminder to when the 27th Okay, doesn't matter what time for me, and I say schedule, and look what happens here at the bottom. Oops, no, I didn't mean <laughs> it's shifted over to schedule, but if you take it back here, yeah, you'll see that little area there. And again, the beauty is I can come in here, right click it, I can edit it, I can edit the message, I can add an attachment to it. Maybe let me just add an attachment to it, put that in there as a message and by default it pulls what this message is over here and attaches it to the image that I want to. I can even go in there and change this picture or add other pictures etc. So there I'm adding it there. So on that date this will come through as a picture over here. Okay so we're there in messages so if I want to go in and type anything further I can do that. If I want to change that picture I can come in there and also do that okay or I can click delete and it will delete that message now I'm going to shift across to um, to this particular group this is a group it could be a groups or channels or even an individual they all work the same so I'm going to go and search for Jeffrey's Bay go to the same thing so yeah, my desktop on the left, I'm in the same one as here. As you notice, there's no little schedule thing over there. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to just say, Hi, the XAGM is on Friday. I don't know what the date is on Friday, so I'll check it now. So if I'm going to send this here, just wait, we'll just wait a second. 
you're going to see something interesting happening on the right here on my phone because we are linked into the cloud what will happen is can you see that it comes up there because as it synchronizes into the cloud it will be on all my devices even while i'm busy typing it there'll be a little bit of delay because it's part of the synchronizing so if i now want to schedule this again same thing applies i right click on the send button and i can send it into the group without a sound or i can schedule the message and this is what i do with basically all my channels and groups and again if i'm sending to a single individual but i want to send a longer message maybe do a few attachments to it i go put it in the schedule section and then i work on it further so i'm going to click here um, or maybe let me not do that i'm going to go to the mobile just to show you how the same features work so on the mobile you will long press on the send button don't tap it if you tap it it's going to send it immediately into this group so if you long press on the mobile device with your finger you're going to have this pop up okay and then you can decide what you want to do in this case we're going to go scheduled message and it's going to ask when do we want to schedule it i'm just going to scroll all the way up here and let's choose a random time if you look at the bottom here it says send on april 16th i think it's the fourth today at 13:58. okay just choosing something at random for now send it so it's in there so we'll see here now that there's a little icon that appeared on the desktop here on the left if we click that we'll have that exact same message one of the things also when you typing a, con, a concise message or a extended message reason for doing it in the schedule area is if you write a piece and you send it to the person you go oh, i want to edit it you can tap on the end edit it um, i think a lot of other platforms have copied telegram with that and allow you to edit maybe a week or so up to a week afterwards with telegram you can edit it infinitely long afterwards because it it's lying in the cloud so it's not a problem but when you do tap on it to edit it it shows a little instruction at the bottom that says edit it whereas if you're doing all your modifications and editing in the schedule section when you send it it comes through as a clean new message with no edit even if you've done 20 edits on it before sending it so let's say we now want to uh, schedule uh, this uh, for this day and on the desktop version I'm thinking okay I just need to add a picture with this so what I will do is I'll right click on the the message I have I'm on the desktop side now I'll click edit and here you see I can change the message Friday morning and I can maybe attach something to it maybe uh, uh, let's put this picture here of this thing and I can choose compressed or not compressed but I'll put it there and again you can see it pulls through the message as it did with the save messages side yeah, i can say save and this will be yeah okay it's going to the it synchronizes on my phone it's going to be sent on the 16th at 158. okay now i can go okay this message is going to go to the group at this time but i want to have another message is um we are we are meeting oops meeting for supper at 6 p.m on what date uh, let's call it monday i don't even know what monday is yeah let's say on monday now this is for this very same group in this case it's this Jeffrey's Bay group. I'm setting up multiple things. And this is the awesomeness of it. Is that you, if you're somebody that plans ahead of time and you're planning your next three months with what you want to send out to the group, um, you know, maybe it's a, a document you want to send at a certain time, etc. You want to wish people birthdays. You can set all of it up and then forget about it for that three months or that month or that week that you're doing it in so you don't have to every day be on your device clicking and clicking and also if you decide oh man um, i set that thing up already but i 
uh, there's something that's changed, you can always come back and, and sort it out. Uh, let me just click here. You can see this button looks different here. If I click here, um, I'm going to say maybe Monday is the 21st there. So let's schedule it for that. Okay, so if I now have this already and I go back here and you can see the schedules here. If I realize oh, the, the Monday thing is not going to happen, it's going to happen on Tuesday. I can go back in here anytime and for example here I can right click and go edit and I can say it's going to be 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Oops. And when I click here it's going to go and accept it but you notice here that it's still the same date so I can go in here and I can say reschedule and it's the Tuesday, select that, leave the time the same and schedule. And it will update scheduled for the 22nd, etc. So, oops, my spelling, see incorrectly, foe. Let me just go there. I know that's taken most of your attention looking at that spelling and wondering if I'd corrected. Yeah, I did. So there we go. So I could have like the, all the documents that I have to send out at specific time and on the days it will just automatically release itself really cool if i decide okay now i need to send this thing out now if i go here to to the front end if i want to send this thing now so i get yeah and i go like ah i think i'm going to send this thing now you don't have to wait for the scheduled time you can just go in and say send now and it will go through okay so it goes through there and it automatically comes through. Okay, so I'm going to just go there and delete because this is in the group. I don't want it to be there and it will take it away. So, folks, this is the power of using schedules. Is In your one-on-one -on -one chats, you can prepare everything, make corrections, get everything, attachments, everything. Once you're happy, you can click send now. Um, if you're doing it for birthdays or rem or things like, if it's a reminder, go to your usual, you know, your save documents. But if it's to send to people, that's how you do it. For groups, it's an indispensable tool um, so that you don't sit, if you're managing five, ten groups, you're not sitting and posting to ten groups. You basically do your work ahead of time, everything, schedule them all, and sit back and let the schedules manage themselves. People will thank you and say, oh, you've, you've uh, remembered my birthday and you sent it. I'm so appreciative and everything. Uh, just because you have taken the time to schedule all of this stuff. Okay, so, yeah, let me just show you finally if you're on the mobile device, if we open up the schedule. If I want to delete that, I tap next to it. Here next to it with your finger, you can tap. And there you have the option to delete and you can just go and say delete and delete up there and that will clear it out there and then you'll see that there's no uh, schedule message icon at the bottom here anymore okay so hopefully you guys find good use with a scheduling tool um, make it part of your protocol and then you know also sometimes we respond too quickly to people and then we go in and we have we haven't even checked our spelling and we're saying the incorrect things with the autocorrect and that. So I just go to schedule, type it, everything, open it, have a look at it, read through it there. Okay, it makes sense. Maybe leave it there for a few hours. Maybe I want to rethink just whether I want to respond immediately or not. Sometimes I go, ah, I don't need to. I'm going to go back and just delete it. So it's a, it's a good holding space for, for messages. Great. So have a blessed day and uh, shalom to everybody.